you ha you guys have no idea how much time went into the preparation of this and yet still I do not feel prepared at all what I have ready for the stream and about the world uh, world health organization's plan and all of that I just <laughs> where wait a second I just have a PowerPoint presentation that's literally all I have ready for this stream. I just have pretty much a five minute long presentation ready for <laughs> for this event. I decided to split the presentation into four segments. The first one is just cutting straight to the chase. What the WHO has done already to fight against COVID-19. Second section, why you should donate. The third section we'll be talking about what the United Nations Foundation has done. And finally, last but not least, why you should donate. The two why you should donate segments sounded way funnier in my head back when I wrote it, but while I was preparing for this presentation, I read it out loud and I was like, you know what, this sounds really obnoxious. So I just want it to be clear that this is a bit of a joke. And all it really comes down to, the real reasons to donate would be if you can and if you truly want to. I do have other reasons. I do have a slide dedicated, but these, if you can and if you want to, those are the two main reasons why you should donate. What the WHO has done so far is they've, they've done a lot of stuff. They've First of all, they've created a website with lots of relevant and helpful information, which I should be able to show to you in a second. Let's, there you go, right there. So you can already see on the website, there's public advice, there's technical guidance, travel advice, myth busters. They've got rolling updates on the disease, but they've not only done that, they've also done other things. So what they've been doing is they've been actively helping countries prepare for and deal with the disease. They've been helping supplies for healthcare workers. Again, this is all part of the SPRP, as I'm going to be calling it in the future, since let's be honest, saying strategic prepare preparedness and response plan over and over and over again is eventually going to get annoying. The SPRP is kind of the crux of this whole presentation. It's the WHO's strategy to fight against the virus. In fact, I have linked the full SPRP in the stream description in case you want to read it, but I doubt that many of you want to read through a 28 page PDF file. There's three parts out of three main parts to this strategy. The first one is finding out a way to make countries cooperate globally. The second one is, the second part is to increase efforts to be ready for the virus and respond to it, especially in weaker countries. And lastly, it is to prioritize, prioritize research, to accelerate research and try to make the information, the conclusion from that research accessible globally. The system prioritizes countries with weak health, si health systems. And I'm quoting from the PDF here. Now, what they mean here is... Now going on to the UNF's actions, they haven't done nearly as much as the WHO, but they have partnered up with them to help them with the SPRP. And what they've done is they've created a solidarity response fund, which once again, I'm going to bring up right here. Second. One eternity later. This is a site where you can donate, but this is not my campaign. So if you donate here, you will not receive, I will not receive an alert and I cannot thank you for the donation. However, I will give credit where credit is due because this response fund has managed to gather almost 130 million US dollars from over 222,000 donors. It's honestly an insane amount of money, but sadly, it's not nearly enough. The WHO has estimated that to help out countries with weaker health systems, they needed 675 million US dollars. And that's just to help out the weaker countries. Now, 
if you donate, what you do is you support the you support the UNF and the WHO. You support the you support you also support the research involving the virus. I really sh now the last two I should have really removed the bragging rights thing. So with all that out of the way, I think I am ready to give away the donation link. All right, so from now on, I will be looking at the stream chat again and I will be answering questions. I don't have a credit card. Ah, it's okay. If in... not everyone can donate. And I was prepared for that. I don't think there's going to be a lot of people donating today. Can you notice me, Optic? Consider yourself noticed, Zen. Exomin is typing out his question, so I'm kind of waiting for him to type out his question. <gasps> no way, we got a donation. Who donated? Okay, they were anonymous. 200 bucks? Excuse me? No way. Damn. So if I now go to my Tiltify campaign... Wait a second. It still says that we only have to, that we only have twenty five bucks. Well, I say only, but okay, no, never mind. The d donation did go through. Thank you so much to whoever that was. Yeah, that that's a lot of money. I didn't expect that. I'm going to have to change the goal from a hundred up to three hundred. I honestly was not expecting any donations above, like, ten bucks or something like that. So I wonder if they know what the other charities are doing and then sort of balancing everything out what An another donation what a hundred oh my goodness oh my good i was not expecting anything like this i ex i expected to maybe get one or two donations, but nothing on this scale. I'm sorry that I'm just... I, I can't find sentences for this. I'm genuinely so nervous that I cannot form any sentences. How's quarantine going? Quarantine is going way better than I expected. I'm keeping a full plate so that I don't go insane in any way. I have enough projects for myself planned so that I don't actually go insane. Just wait for a video from Mr. Beast about donating to Random Street two days later. We'll see. <laughs> I, once again, I really doubt Mr. Beast would hide their name. While I was testing, actually, the I was testing the donation alerts. I got 25 bucks because I actually told the other guy that they were supposed to donate one cent just to make sure that everything was wor No way. Another donation? Exomin! A. Thank you so much, Exomin. No, another one? God? <laughs> Guys, we have God on stream. I don't- I genuinely don't have words for this. In fact, the stream is blessed. There we go, we have found words for this. No way. Even more- Family Guy donated 25 bucks. Wow. Th this has been a hell of a stream. I didn't expect it to be a hell of a stream. Especially since it took a while for everyone to... Well, for the donations to start rolling in. We were, like, awkwardly hanging out for maybe the first minute or so of the question round. <laughs> and then came the... Then came $200. Like, still, what?! Why did God choose Optic Stream as the platform that he would pre present himself on as the savior of humanity from Corona? Good question, Norborg. Maybe God can answer that. <laughs> Only God knows. Now we can say it literally. I'm probably just going to spend maybe another minute here, and then I'm going to end the presentation. That would be the most important part of the stream done. 10, 9, 8, 7... Six, five, four. That's probably slower than seconds, so I'm probably going to stop now. All right, so that was pretty much the end of the most important part of the stream. Thank you guys so much. Those of you who donated especially, thank you so much for joining the stream. I don't think there's going to be a lot of people donating today.